Hi folks, this is Greg at Best Choice Trailers. Today I'm going to take you for a walk around a few of Shore Track's utility landscape trailers. Picked out a few single axles for us today. These are going to be all the solid sided Shore Track utility trailers. So Shore Track makes quite a few different models. Uh, total and single axles, I believe there's seven different ones. So we wanted to pick the three that have the solid sides to try and show them all to you side by side, show you some of the feature differences and help make sure you're picking the best one for your application. So to the left here, we've got a five by 10 in the steel high sided trailer. So to me, the steel high sided is kind of uh, maybe not the best name. I'd call it a steel solid sider. It is a solid side. The sides themselves aren't overly tall. They're about a 15 inch high side, which is just about the same as a normal utility. Then it does have the tie down rail, which does make it a little bit taller. But the solid part of the sidewall is gonna net you about 15 inches. The sides on this are built a lot different than a lot of your utility trailers uh, that do the solid sides. A lot will build it like a normal utility and then scab the steel on. This steel high sider is built much like a dump trailer where it's got a form body, it's got a rolled top rail. Uh, pretty heavy built, it's one of the heavier uh, by weight trailers in the model lineup. So that's the steel high sided. Again, about a 15 inch side, top rail takes you maybe to an 18 inch or so side. Next up, we've got a tube top three board high side. Uh, this trailer is about a two foot high side. So the top of the wood's about 18 inches and then you've got an opening and then a two by two tube top rail. Also a pretty heavy duty unit. Uh, to give you an idea, this particular unit in a five by eight, uh, both the steel high side and the tube top three board are gonna come weighing in at about a thousand pounds, give or take. Okay, both of these units, very similar in how they're built and we'll get to those in a minute. The last product in Short Track's lineup is going to be the galvanized high side. Again, it's another one of those where a galvanized solid side might be a better name, but again, it is what they would call a high side or solid side. Awesome trailer for a homeowner. Uh, it's got a lot of nice features that, that really uh, work well for what the average homeowner needs. So we'll get to it in a minute, but the galvanized high side is the last one that's shown in a five by eight. That is the lightest trailer of the three by far. We'll get to that and why in a minute. But again, the galvanized is, is by far and away the lightest of the three. So coming back to the, uh, the solid sider here. So to give you an idea, all of Shore Track's uh, what I'll call deluxe utilities, the non-utility angle, which is their more economical type one, are going to share a lot of commonality. So they're all powder coated. Uh, all but the utility angle all have LED lights, all sealed beam, has the new bullet LEDs we'll see around here in the side. They've got the newer style light. Uh, all short track utilities are going to have a setback jack. Uh, they're all going to be a zinc jack. So it's got the setback set up, keeps you from dinging it up. Uh, again, the tube top, the tube top three board, the steel high side, they're all going to have the triple tube tongue, which gives you a lot of additional support. That's something you don't see even a lot of times on most tandem axles. So on short tracks, all their wiring on single axles is ran in conduit. So you have flex loom that's ran back the tongue in all of them, uh, and then runs back the mainframe in a conduit as well. So all short track trailers are gonna get a radial tire. On all the painted steel trailers, you're gonna get the Jeep style tread plate fender, nice heavy duty fender. On all the powder coated units, they take in silicone all the joints. Uh, there I just showed you the between the fender and the main body. Uh, all of them at the utility are going to have the uh, spare tire mount on the side as a standard feature. <clears throat> uh, they would all have a two by treated floor, two by six in this case, treated deck. <clears throat> and then on all short tracks, a couple other nice features we really like. All but the utility angle are going to be spring assisted have a uh, very simple pin system if you want to remove the gate no tools required uh, very very simple pin system as well uh, this is a, a very uh, touchy feeling on landscapers uh, something that somebody's gonna use it all the time something as little as that pin system can cause you major grief down the road we repair a lot of these uh, with some of the other brands that we've seen in the market uh, not so much on this very slick uh, design they've got there very simple to replace uh, the rear, the boards if you want with the rear board retainer. If you look closely, you'd simply pop out the deck board heads. 
our deck board screws there's about six or seven of those going across the back and you can replace the uh, replace the deck very simply some people seem to think that uh, decks on these need replaced more often than they they do uh, we generally tend to find an original deck tends to last in upwards of 15 years unless it's a, a high use uh, high use unit so on all short tracks but the galvanized uh, they use a two by two square tube in the gate uh, one of the problems or bottlenecks that we see in a lot of utilities is the gate. Uh, we get a lot of them with angle iron gates that get bent up and people want them repaired. The 2x2 tube, very strong. Uh, this is one of the few gates that I would say a utility trailer can hold the full legal payload of the trailer on the gate. So again, 2x2 two two square tube, very, very stout gate. One nice thing about this particular unit, and I made this easy for me to unlatch with one hand here. There's your gate folding flat down inside the trailer. So they do put two pins uh, on the gate. So you've got one in the lower setting. That would be if you only wanted to go down and then upright. And then for the gate to fold inside, it needs to come up. So in the upper setting, that'll allow the gate to fold flat inside. Again, if you did want to take the gate off, you'd simply fold it inside like so, pull the pin at the back, and then all you have to do is lift it up that tiny little bit and drag it out the back. This is one of the few gates where one person can truly remove the gate, which is impressive being uh, how heavy duty the gate is. So on some of the models, Short Track has more recently started adding D-rings. This would be on units where uh, you can't get to the stake pockets that they put on the outside. That would be units like this steel high side. And then on the uh, tube top three board, they do the D-rings in now as well, being that you can't get to the stake pockets. So they put D-rings in the corners for you so another feature that's standard on all but the utility would be the spare tire mount and then on the uh the tube top the tube top three board in the uh, atv model you got the two by two tube top rail as well so folks let's come back to this this spring assist is uh is pretty slick uh, very very well balanced trailer so i'm going to go ahead even as heavy duty as this gate is, I'm going to go ahead and let go of it, and I'm going to show you what happens. <laughs> this particular one, I didn't push down at all. It literally will hold its own weight, and all i got to do is give it the least little bit. That's how well engineered and how well balanced that gate is. I think you're going to find Short Track is a very well engineered product overall. Uh, most of the gates that I've seen in the industry won't, uh, won't near balance like that. Okay, so coming over here to the tube top three board, I want to show you a couple of the features. They do a little bit different on this. So, of course, this is the one with the highest side. Okay, it's got the two foot to the top of the top rail. So one thing they do is double stud the corners. On the long side, they do a two by three tube. Short side, they do a two by two tube. They do that so that in the corners, uh, you're not splitting the deck board up. Notice they miter the corners, a lot of little details. This one also has the setback jack has the wiring uh, in conduit. So you leave that opening there. Uh, it works out handy for a few things. One, you can tie off if you've got an appliance or something like that or a piece of furniture. A couple different uses that you can use uh, that opening for. Tube top three board, uh, like the other models, comes in a handful of sizes. Uh, five by eight, five by 10, six by 10, six by 12, seven by 12 are all single axle sizes. Uh, these two trailers in particular, the steel high side and the tube top three board, uh, we try not to do in 7x12s. Uh, just the empty weight of them is sufficient enough that uh, we don't overly recommend them. There's just not enough legal payload left for what most people are using them for. Uh, these two units certainly ideal for anybody that is commercial in nature, uh, ideal for a landscaper or uh, uh, any contractor that's going to be rough on them. Certainly very uh, rugged and very heavy built. Okay. So coming over here to the galvanized, that's the last steel high sided trailer. A uh, lot of different features. These are nowhere even close to the same as the last couple trailers. So we're going to show you a couple things that they do different. This for one is galvanized. So Instead of building a trailer and then taking it to a galvanizer like would generally be the process, this is all rolled galvanized sheet steel. So this uh, galvanizing tends to look a lot better than the units 
that are galvanized for one uh, there's a lot uh, less imperfections I guess you could say in the galvanized than what I've seen uh, also has the setback jack in lieu of the wiring and conduit because this particular trailer uh, they don't like to weld on after it's been galvanized of course so they run a sealed wire harness instead of wiring and conduit so this here just be a sealed harness ran back okay instead of this being a structural channel frame this is a rolled uh, galvanized channel frame so not quite as heavy as the other units but in lieu of heavy duty short track on this uses a higher tensile strength steel it's a 50,000 pound tensile strength which they say more than makes up for it this trailer's gone through a lot of testing and was uh, well proven before it's put in the market so instead of being welded in place uh, there's two different types of fasteners that hold this trailer together you've got a traditional pop rivet then you've also got huck fasteners so if you're not familiar huck fasteners are used quite a bit in the industry uh, certainly nothing that you should be uh, afraid of seeing it's nothing new been around a long time uh, my understanding is they're used in the uh, locomotive industry uh, but more frequently for us we see them somewhat on the uh, aluminum gooseneck deck over market for the necks uh, a lot of your high dollar horse trailers and whatnot uh, take advantage of the huck fastener so a couple other things on the, the galvanized high side the sides on these run a little over a foot in height uh, one standard build in and unlike the uh unlike the spare tire mount and the other one uh this spare tire mount very simple design but yet very effective you've got a spot on either side up front you can do uh, a spare tire mount and then on the bigger units there's also a spot behind a fender that you can put it on either side as well so you still get the additional functionality of the spare tire mount uh this particular unit you've got your side steps on either side of the trailer You've also got your radial tires, you got your bullet LEDs, still got the treated wood floor. Probably one of the biggest differences we see would be in the gate. Some of the gate functionality is still the same. You still have the rear board retainer, you still have the easy to remove gate pins. And of course, you still get the spring assist and the, uh, the simple pin system that makes uh, using the gate very simple. But in the actual gate, uh, these here are going to be a little bit lighter. It's a fab steel cross member in the back instead of a tube steel cross member this is the only unit where I would say you probably can't put the legal payload of the trailer up the gate uh, or certainly I would not try with one if I were buying one but the 2x2 two two tube uh, does seem to be substantially heavier duty this particular galvanized unit I would say is a good hybrid between an aluminum and a painted steel trailer uh, by weight, it seems to weigh about halfway between the two. Uh, this particular 5x8 comes in empty at about 800 pounds, where an aluminum is probably going to come in in the upper sixes, and the uh, regular tube top steel trailer is going to come in probably in the nines. So because it's a high tensile uh, alloy, it's uh, a little bit lighter weight than the traditional steel trailers. Also, the gauges are a little bit lighter. Uh, I believe this galvanized trailer here is a 14 gauge where the steel high side I believe is two gauges heavier it's a 12 gauge it's all the way around a little bit different trailer we would highly recommend this particular short track for an average homeowner most homeowners uh, trailers tend to rust before they tend to uh, bend or break mostly items on their trailer this particular one stay looking nice it's got the solid sides for your mulch and your general household debris that most people are going to use it for the tube top three board uh, we recommend this a lot to landscapers or certainly a homeowner that's also doing a lot of mulch. Uh, very, very strong trailer for someone like firewood. Uh, ideal for hauling, uh, say, a half cord or so of firewood. Then we've got the steel high-sided trailer. Again, also uh, certainly capable for a homeowner but uh, certainly more than capable for a professional landscaper as well. Very heavy duty. We like the painted steel trailers, generally where a customer is uh, gonna use the trailer heavy and one where the deterioration of the running gear would match that of the use in the paint. We like the galvanized trailer where you've got somebody that's not gonna use it quite as often. They want it to stay looking nice for an extended period of time. Uh, based on their um, their use and their application so very ideal for a homeowner if you have any questions on any of these give us a ring 
220-420-4220 or visit us on the web at bestchoicetrailers.com. Thanks for looking.